Welcome to Impart Math Knowledge. In this video, I am going to explain graphical method in linear programming problem. Okay, it is a special case. This problem has an alternate solution. Let me explain through example. Solve the following LPP using graphical method. The question is maximize z is equal to 20x1 plus 10x2 subject to the constraint 10x1 plus 5x2 less than or equal to 50. 6x1 plus 10x2 less than or equal to 60. 4x1 plus 12x2 less than or equal to 48. And the non-negativity constraint x1 comma x2 greater than or equal to 0. First step we have to write the standard form in the usual manner. Let me write 10x1 plus 5x2 is equal to 50. You take this as number 1. 6x1 plus 10x2 is equal to 60. You take this as number 2. Third constraint is 4x1 plus 12x2 is equal to 48. Take this as number 3. So first step is we have to convert the given inequality constraints into standard form. Step 2 we have to write the coordinates for the given constraints. Let me write the first condition is 10x1 plus 5x2 is equal to 50. If you put x1 is equal to 0, you will get 10 into 0 plus 5x2 is equal to 50. That is x2 is equal to 50 by 5. That is x2 is equal to 10. In the same equation, you put x2 is equal to 0. That is 10x1 plus 5 into 0 is equal to 50. That is 10x1 is equal to 50 implies that x1 is equal to 5. So the coordinates are 0 comma 10 and 5 comma 0. Now the second condition is 6x1 plus 10x2 is equal to 60. If you put x1 is equal to 0, you will get 6 into 0 plus 10x2 is equal to 60. 10x2 is equal to 60 implies that x2 is equal to 6. So the coordinate is 0 comma 6. Now in the same equation you put x2 is equal to 0. If you put x2 is equal to 0, you will get 6x1 plus 10 into 0 is equal to 60. That is 6x1 is equal to 60 implies that x1 is equal to 10. So the coordinate is 10 comma 0. Now take the third condition 4x1 plus 12x2 is equal to 48. If you put x1 is equal to 0 that is 4 into 0 plus 12x2 is equal to 48. 12x2 is equal to 48 implies that x2 is equal to 4. So the coordinate is 0 comma 4. Now in the same equation you put x2 is equal to 0. Put x2 is equal to 0 you will get 4x1 plus 12 into 0 is equal to 48. 4x1 is equal to 48 implies that x1 is equal to 12. So the coordinate is 12 comma 0. Once we find the coordinates, we have to identify the feasible region using graph. Draw x1 axis and x2 axis and mark all the points. Okay. Now you have to plot the coordinates. Okay. For the first condition, the coordinates are 0 comma 10 and 5 comma 0. 0 comma 10 is some point here and 5 comma 0 is in between 
4 and 6. 0, 10 and 5, 0 connected by a straight line. This is the first condition. Now the second condition, the coordinates are 0, 6 and 10, 0. 0, 6 is some point here and 10, 0 is some point here. Connect these two points by a straight line. This is our second condition. Now for the third condition, the coordinates are 0, 4 and 12, 0. 0, 4 and 12, 0. Now connect these two points by a straight line. This is our third condition. Now you see the question. In the question, all the conditions are less than or equal to type. So your feasible region falls under this area because if I take the first condition, I have to shade inside this region. If I take the second one, this is the shading area. If I take the third condition, this is the shading area. So altogether, the common region is the first region. If all the inequality is less than or equal to means, without doubt you can shade this region. This is your feasible region unless you have a negative coordinates. When you get negative coordinates, you have to deal it in a different manner. If all the coordinates are positive and the inequality is less than or equal to means, without doubt you can shade this region. Now for this problem, this is the feasible region. You have to use some other color for identifying the feasible region. This is the feasible region. Okay, so once you identify the feasible region, you have to mark all the corners. Okay, the corners are A, B, C and D. For A, the coordinate is 0, 0. For B, the coordinate is 5, 0. And for C, the coordinate is from the uh, graph you have to take the value. It is approximately 3.6, 2.8. Okay, you have to use scale to find x1 value 3.6. Because after 2, you have to count like 2.2, 2.4, 2 2.8, 3, 3.2, 3.6, 3.8 like that you have to count. Okay. And similarly here also. So the point is 3.6 and 2.8. Okay. And for D, the value was 0, 4. Sorry. A, B, C, D is the feasible region. Feasible region. Once you find the feasible region, you have to find the optimum value of Z. For that, you have to write the corners for the feasible region A, B, C, D. For corner A, the coordinate is 0, 0. For corner C, 3.6, 2.8. And for corner D, 0, 4. Okay, now we have to find Z value for all the coordinates. Z is equal to 20 into 0 plus 10 into 0. So, Z value is 0. For B, the coordinates are 5, 0. So, you will get Z is equal to 100. And for C, Z is equal to 20 into 3.6 plus 10 into 2.8. If you multiply and add you will get 100. 72 plus 28, you will get 100. Now, for the last point, Z is equal to 20 into 0 plus 10 into 4. So, the value is 40. After step 3, so we have to find the optimum value of Z. For finding the optimum value, we have to write the feasible corners corresponding coordinates. Okay. After that, you have to find the Z value for all the coordinates. Okay. Here the given problem is maximization problem. So we have to select the maximum value of Z. And you see the tabular column, maximum value of Z is 100. It comes in 
two places. So the corresponding coordinates C and B coordinates decides the solution. Okay, here we have more than one maximum value. So we can conclude that the problem has an alternate optimum solution or multiple optimum solution. Let me write the solution. Maximize z is equal to 100. So the optimum solutions are x1 is equal to 5, x2 is equal to 0. Another coordinate is x1 is equal to 3.6 and x2 is equal to 2.8. So this problem has an alternate solution. This is an example for alternate solution or multiple optimum solution. If you like this video, please share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.